What's up, YouTube fans? Today I'm taking a look at the Gundam Universe RX-78-2. Uh, this is their new line they've put out. Um, these are actually available uh, quite a few places. I got it. I found it at ThinkGeek, which is GameStop's um, alternate uh, store. And uh, it was pretty cool. I picked it up. It was like 25 bucks, I think. Um, pretty good deal. So here's the packaging. You get a nice image of uh, RX-78. Definitely more detail on here than there is on the robot. Here's the back of the box. It doesn't even show what you get. You get a lot of stuff in the box, but here he is in a, in a couple poses. It shows there's some articulation. Um, but that's really it for the box. There's an animation on the top, on the bottom, see through on the top. But let's get this open and take a look at what comes with it. Here we have it out of his packaging. He does come with a lot of stuff, so we're going to go through pretty much everything. Here's, here's the pile of stuff. Um, let's just talk about the figure for a second, and then we'll get into the accessories. So, um, he does feel kind of different than other Gundams we've gotten. Uh, first of all, there's no uh, decals. There's none in the box. At least mine didn't come with any. So um, that's kind of a, a little bit of a letdown is he doesn't come with any decals at all. Uh, and that makes him look a little bare. But it's okay. I still I still love the look of this, this figure. I mean, I've always loved RX-78. But um, it, it does kind of hold him back a little from being... You know, really superb. But for twenty-five dollars, you know, you get what you get, kind of thing. Um, he's very poseable, obviously. He, he's a little bit more limited than some of the other, uh, you know, the model Gundams. But um, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. So here's here's kind of looking around on the figure. He does have the backpack. Uh, this doesn't articulate like it does on the um, other figures, the Master Grades. Or any of the other ones. Um, you, you can put these in on his back. There's a little slot there and that just fits right in. Um, and in there, just a hole. So you can just kind of fit those on top. They are cool little handles. And I haven't figured out yet what these little pegs at the end, there's pegs on the top of these. Not sure what they're for yet. We'll maybe find out during this review. Um, but other than that, uh, it does look good like that with his beam saber handles in there. It does come with alternate hands, so let's take a look at those. So here are the standard hands. And the plastic is a little weird. I mean, it's, it's not the usual Gundam plastic. It's more of this softer plastic. Uh, but here are the alternate hands. Okay, so you can put those on. There you go. So now he's got the holding hands and you can put, everything goes in here, you can put the gun in, you can put the sword in. And there's the gun. It does have a little bit of articulation up here. But that is about it. That's all it does. Um, but that looks good. It's a good looking gun, good mold. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other accessories here. You you, you do want both holding hands because otherwise you can't hold the, the shield. Uh, but the way they did the shield is it gives you this little handle. And it's got a peg on it right there and that peg goes right into the arm. So it kind of like sits in the hand and then it secures. Oops. So it kind of sits in the hand. You just kind of sort of wedge it in there and then you can peg it in on this arm and that's what makes it a little more secure. And I think that's a good design. You know, they they wanted to make sure it wasn't going to fall off. There you go. Now the question people may ask is can this peg onto his back? And there are really any instructions. So you wouldn't know unless you tried, but he does peg into his back. So you use this peg right here, on the back of this, to get that on his back. And I think it only goes one way. I think it just goes this way like that. And that doesn't look too bad. And then you can take this and put that in, just like you had it in his hand. And that's a cool feature. I like that. I like that they made that all work together. 
Uh, you can also take his beam saber handle out of his back here and connect it. I mean, again, this is all soft plastic. So be a little careful, but you don't have to. It's meant to play with. Um, and the last uh, accessory here is the adapter for the Tomasi, Tomashi stage uh, display stand. And I don't have one of those, so I'm not going to put it on. But there it is. It goes right on his butt. And you can put that on a stand. So that is all of the accessories. So let's go over his articulation. Um, you do have uh, these in the back here. They don't articulate like they do in the original where they kind of had some movement there. Uh, the head is on a ball joint. Actually, all of the, everything's on a ball joint. It's a little different than just a regular ball joint because the neck does move. So you get a little bit extra movement there on that neck, which is nice. It, it goes left and right and forward and back. Uh, you, you do kind of want to be careful with the horns here because those will break if you're not careful. Uh, you get a full rotation at the bicep. And again, that's on a ball joint in there. Um, but there is also a shoulder joint there. This does articulate a little bit and then the shoulder articulates all the way up to there. Uh, single jointed elbow, that's kind of a disappointment for a figure like this. You know, I feel like it should be double jointed, but for a reason. They made they molded the plastic in such a way that it doesn't doesn't get past there, which is odd for Gundam. It sh really should. Uh, you do have a waist rotation um, and an ab crunch up to there. It's not a lot, but it's pretty good. Um, there is no you know nothing inside. There's no core fighter or anything like that. Um, but this is also a you know less expensive figure. Uh, as far as the hip skirts, they do rotate up, not all the way. I, and I kind of wish they went a little further than that because it actually hinders the leg. You know, the leg can only go up to there because that's where the hip screw goes up to. Um, I guess you could take these off and then you could get the leg all the way up. But that's silly. I, I don't know why they designed it that way. Um, it's a good thing to know that these instead of breaking, just come out. So that's nice. Um, I, I'd rather they come out of their, come off the peg than, than break. Uh, these back hip skirts do not move like they, they do on the uh, master grades or the real grades. And that's okay. You know, he's limited backwards. Uh, but, and these are kind of flexible plastic. But that's all he goes back. Uh, as far as knee, you have, again, a single jointed knee. Well, no, okay. It is it is double jointed. There's a bend there, and then there's a bend on the bottom. But with all of that, it, it doesn't go all the way, which is strange. It's just like the arm, you know. They could have they could have made it go all the way, but it doesn't. Uh, here's his foot. His foot is again everything's on a ball joint. You do have um, this thing, which is on a ball joint as well, so that can go pretty much anywhere. And same for the foot. You got articulation, plenty of articulation. Now there's some nice detail in there. I'll try to show it to you. Um, let's see. Let's zoom in. So you can see inside the foot there, there's some nice detail. There's like a, a piston in there, which is cool. You know, that, that that's a little detail they probably could have, didn't have to add, but they did. Uh, so that's really it for articulation. Um, it does it does pose very well. I like the you know the posability and the and the range that this guy has. So I think they they did it's it's good enough. Now I remember getting the mega size one and being disappointed with how much articulation I had. This one is not disappointing. It's 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 good enough. It meets my my needs at least. But if you're used to Model kits, this is going to be a little limiting compared to those, so just be aware of that. So here's the head sculpt, and uh, it's painted really well. You got the gold eyes, and then you got the black and the red around it. The face mask is painted well, so that's really, really well done. I think they they nailed it with the face sculpt. Of course, it is Bandai, so they're going to get it right, but um, but that definitely looks good. So that's really it guys. Um, I definitely recommend these figures. 
They are worth the money. I think $25 is a good deal for what you're getting here in the box. Um, I do wish that it had a little bit more articulation, but I understand, you know, they're trying to make this a lower price point. So the plastic's a little different, and the joints a little different. Everything's ball jointed, so that's good. Things don't break, they just come apart instead of breaking. Um, although you do want to be careful with the horns, those those could potentially break. Um, but other than that, uh, I definitely think this is uh, worth, if you're a Gundam fan or just a robot fan in general, these are these are fun, they're easy to find at uh, GameStop or ThinkGeek. Um, so good addition to any collection if uh, you, you like Gundam. Uh, so that's really it for today guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we will have some more Transformers reviews soon. I just wanted to get this one out there uh, as a cool in-between in figure. I've got X-Transbots Neptune on the way, it'll be here soon. So that'll be next, uh, and we'll see you next time.